I'd like to call the Physical Service Committee to order with uh, Martin Kelly, Brian Sweet, John Duchesne, and the show is about. Open for discussion. I'm going to go to this resolution. Resolution authorizing the county exec to sign a contract with Lens Hardware LLC to install upgraded tele telemetry SCADA system in the Montgomery County Sanitary District 1 monitor to not monitor the plant pumping station after hours. Next project. Legislator Sweet and Legislator Cut. All those in favor of moving to a full board? authorizing the county exec to sign an agreement for control of the snow and ice and public works. I'll sponsor. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any other discussion? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, we need to amend this resolution. Um, it's uh, the, the executive has struck a deal for the next two years, and this one is for one year. Uh, pursuant to the memo that he issued to us yesterday uh, for two years. So um, the second or the first resolved paragraph, uh, we need to say uh, for a two-year contract for the period of January 1st, 2022 through December 31st, 2023. And um, for, uh, Clerk, do you have those values? Yes. Um, for the next resolved line, um, we have to say uh, 6,049 per center line, correct? Correct. For January 1st, uh, 22 through December 31st, 22. And then um, I forget what we. 6170. And 6,170 per center line mile for January 1, uh, 23 through December 31, 23. Other than that, uh, I, I think there's nothing else. Any other discussion? All those in favor of moving to a full board? We're going to do a motion as amendment. Right? Uh, no. It, no. This is the committee. All right. Aye. 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 Opposed? Sustain? So moved. We have an add on resolution. Resolution authorizing the county exec to sign an easement agreement for the bridge replacement of Cemetery Drive in the town of Florida. I'll sponsor. I'll second that. Any discussion on it? All in favor of moving it to a full board? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Sustained? No more. Anything other? other? Make a motion to adjourn. Let's third sweep. Yes. For tell. I can't do it. Good job. Good job. Yes. All right, I'd like to call the Public Safety Committee to order at 605. 605 and uh, I'm filling in for legislator Isabel, who is not with us this evening. Uh, anything anybody would like to discuss before we get into the resolution? Hearing then, our first resolution is a resolution amending the 2021 operating budget with forfeiture monies coming to us from the Office of the District Attorney. Do I have a motion? Legislator Headwell, second. Legislator Patel, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Our next resolution is a resolution amending the 2021 operating budget accepting additional stop DWI crackdown enforcement funds. And that comes to us from our stop DWI department. Do I have a sponsor? Legislator Wilson, a second. Legislator Sweet, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. 
Our next resolution, a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal contract amendment with I am responding, uh, coming to us from the Office of Emergency Management. Do I have a sponsor? sponsor. Legislator uh, Pertel, a second. Uh, uh, Legislator Headwell, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. And our final res. Our final resolution is a resolution supporting the intermunicipal agreement for services from the FCM Fire Department, City of Amsterdam. And that also comes to us from the Department of Emergency Management. Do I have a sponsor? I respond. Legislator Wilson, a second. Second. Legislator Sweet. Any discussion on this? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Uh, Legislator Sweet and Headwell. So, me? Yes. Uh, no? No? Uh, no. <clears throat> I'll, call, I'll call to order the Health and Human Services Committee, members of the committee, Legislators Kelly, Duchesne, Isabel, and Bertel. Discussion of the floor. Hearing none, we'll go right to the resolutions. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a contract with Ventec. Looking for a sponsor. Legislator Pep. Chairman Pep. Second. All second. Discussion. All in favor? Say aye. 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 The resolution will move to the full legislature. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a contract with Fonda Falco Central School District. Uh, Berkshire Farm Center and Services for Youth in Hamilton, Fulton, Montgomery, both seats for a home run prevention program. Looking for a sponsor. A sponsor. Legislator Fertile, second. Sir. Legislator Sweet. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, resolution will move to the full legislature. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement, structural component, depreciation model, recorder building. Looking for a sponsor. Legislator, Chairman Pep, second. I'll second it. Discussion. Chair. Which sir? No. Can we just have an explanation of what that is? Sure. Um, County said. So we recently had met with an NSD company about uh, counting and administering our federal COVID relief. Um, and in that meeting, uh, we had a pretty significant discussion about the recorder building and potentially using funding with public health um, and moving them into that building. But the interesting part of it is um, they, they were quite skilled and they were quite impressed with the way they could manage uh, the reimbursements for the recorder building. Um, and as you can see in the title, um, the structural component depreciation model, essentially what they will do for us is front load those costs so we can be reimbursed at the time of occupancy rather than be, be reimbursed each year over a period of 30 to 40 years. And uh, we were really impressed and it, it, you know, eventually it's going to be a big, big binder of um, all the, the backup and all the information that we need to make sure we're not missing any reimbursements and getting it um, in, in the short term rather than over the long term. So this contract would um, you know, allow us to engage them uh, over the remainder of this year and into next year for that specific purpose. So basically depreciating for one year rather than correct straight on. Yeah, it's, it's a quite cumbersome process and they have uh, Different level of expertise, and uh, we all felt around the table that this would be a, a good move forward to make sure that you know, it's all done appropriately. We know DSS is a bit overwhelmed, and there's a lot going on there. But um, this will allow us to uh, recoup our expenses immediately after occupancy, which is, would be a little different than uh, if, we, if we did the regular way. So but we recoup it in our way. So we, we, we expend the funds to. Rehab the building, all that gets documented along the way. The day we get our occupancy uh, slip is when we can then, um, you know, put in the full claim and get our get our expenses. Thank you for that explanation. Yeah.
Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 That resolution will move to the full legislature. Resolution amending resolution 175 of 2021. For a sponsor. I'll sponsor, looking for a second. Like uh, Chairman Pepp. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Uh, the resolution will move to the full legislature. Motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Let me make sure you're on the camera. Yes. Thank you. Legislator Patel. <laughs> Sponsored by Legislator Patel. Give me the second. Legislator to Jesse. Thank you. We're adjourned. Okay. Okay. Can we, can we the personnel committee? Looks like we have uh, eight proposed resolutions. Okay. <coughs> Does anyone wish to be heard before we start? Is that the committee? You, got you are. You forgot about it. <laughs> The committee members are Roy Diamond, Robert Headwell, Joseph Isabel, and Robert Patel. I'm doing well calling you Robert now. I worked for 20 years with my brother Mike in the fire department. Can you get us straight? That's all right. All right. First in the resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with your man. For a sponsor and a second, have on a diamond. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Are there any opposed or abstentions? If not, the motion is carried to the full legislature. Resolution amending 2020 Delta Dental. Renewal agreement. I look for a sponsor in a second. Sponsor to sweet, second is nine. <clears throat> is there any discussion here? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed or abstentions? Motion is carried to the full legislature. <clears throat> Next is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement, Eastern Medical Support. Any discussion? I'll make a motion. Look for a sponsor and a second. Okay. Got Mike Pat and Roy Dang. Any discussion here? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Are there any opposed or abstentions? Motion is carried to the full legislature. Next is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with Matrix Araya. Okay. Matrix Araya. I look for a sponsor in a second. Captain Headwell. Any discussion here? Signify by saying aye. Aye. Are there any opposed or abstentions? Motion is carried to the full legislature. <coughs> Next, the resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement. Labor Relations Services, Wallace, <coughs> Wallace, Golden, and Hour. Look for a sponsor in a second. Have on PEP. Any discussion? Now, those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Are there any opposed or abstentions? Motion is carried to the full legislation. The last one is a resolution authorizing Congress <coughs> to sign an agreement with MVP for health insurance. For a sponsor in a second, Diamond and Pep. 
Any discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, are there any opposed or abstention? <coughs> Motion is carried to the full legislature. Look for a motion to adjourn. Okay. Captain Hedgeball? All those in favor? Aye. Committee's adjourned. All right. I call to order at 617 Economic Development and Planning Committee. First, do we have any discussion? Um, I'd like, if we would, to have our attorney update us on the sewer district. Um, just a quick update. Um, as you guys recall, we won the appeal to the division upholding our, so we, won the, uh, we won in the state Supreme Court to enforce the settlement agreement. That was appealed to the appellate division. We won on that appeal also. Um, the, the plaintiff made a motion to seek the Court of Appeals, which is the highest court in the state of New York, to take up the case for review um, and to review the decision by the appellate division. Um, we had motion practice on that, and we were able to successfully win that motion also. So this is the end of the road <laughs> for this case, and we're going to be moving forward with finalizing that settlement agreement and getting that closed out. But just wanted to give you guys an update on where that stood with the Court of Appeals. So there's no more appeals. No. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the line on the appeals. <laughs> so have we or are we transferring title to the property to the sewer district or is it Montgomery County? Um, I believe title to the sewer district. I have to open my file on that and go back through where everything, but Done that'll on. be all taken care of in the next couple of months, hopefully. It's been a okay. long road. Thank it's you for your <laughs> thank you for your hard work on that. Uh, a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a grant award to update county all hazard mitigation grant program. The sponsor, Pat. Second. Uh, Dan was first. He seconded. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. Chair, I notice a typo in the uh, nature of the request line. A couple of words there. Hazard and mitigation. Okay. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, against? Abstain. Uh, I might add that the members are Mark Kelly, Brian Sweet, Roy Diamond, and Dan Wilson. Uh, next resolution is a resolution accepting application for Montgomery County Micro Enterprise Program. Home Community Renewal Sponsor. Mr. Pass. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Abstain? <coughs> we'll move that to the full board. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an amended agreement with Lero Engineers Incorporated for Engineering Services and Exit 29 Reef Development Project. Economic Development Plan. Sponsor? That's fine. That's fine. Brian, seconded by Dan. Any discussion? Sure. Yes. What is the what is the uh, amendment? There was an amendment in the amount. It was um, what was it? Two thousand dollars. Two thousand uh, dollars. The reason for it was they uh, made many trips out there when we were showing the property to prospective uh, end users. So they asked for uh, an amendment on that. Yeah. Sure. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Abstain? Thank you. We'll move that to the full board. Resolution scheduling a public hearing review of the Agricultural District Number One Economic Development Planning Sponsor. Everybody sleep today? Brian, thank you. Second. Dan, thank you. Any discussion? Sure. Yes. Is this a normal cycle? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All those.
those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Abstain? That to the full board. Our last is under other. Chairman Pep. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to bring up a topic for discussion uh, as it pertains to the uh, next era energy uh, solar farm in the town of Florida. Um, I think all of us have been aware of this project for a long time. Um, all of us have been approached by representatives from the company and uh, other ancillary people regarding um, the concept of us opting out of a local law we created in 2018 that, that, that no longer wanted to extend pilot programs to solar farms. Uh, that said, um, we all, um, you know, it's been a full court press by them to try to get us to opt out, and uh, rightfully so. I understand where they're coming from. They're looking for this benefit. Um, on that note, we have all been uh, presented uh, packages of information, uh, some earlier than others. Some were hand-delivered, some were left here. Uh, and it included a, an executive summary uh, of the benefits uh, of this the potential economic benefits if this uh, project were to be uh, granted a, a pilot program, uh, a proposed resolution, um, and a proposed pilot agreement. Um, some of us have had the opportunity to review it quite extensively. Others have not had the opportunity to uh, review it quite extensively. Uh, but obviously, um, uh, you know, we created this law in 2018 uh, for a reason, uh, because we felt as a legislature that um, pilot programs uh, for solar farms were not necessarily uh, akin to the traditional model of what uh, pilot programs are offered on. Uh, usually things that offer um, a lot of job development, a lot of regeneration of income into the economy by those jobs uh, <clears throat> being the main premise behind the pilot program. And that is what the, you know, I think was the primary premise behind why we established this local law uh, that they're asking us to opt out of. Um, and it's coming directly to us, as you recall, we discussed this briefly in June, uh, when our IDA department uh, came to us and said, they gotta come directly to you because you created the law, you're the only one who can opt out of it. Uh, this is not a traditional pilot program that would first be filtered through them before it got to us. Uh, they have to make the same play with the, the uh, school board as well um, and get them to opt out of it because they too created a law saying they would not grant them in 2018 as well. Um, the executive summary does point out some economic benefits to the county um, if you've had a chance to look at it, um, many of which would apply, you know, would, would happen if there was no pilot put on this program, obviously. Um, um, most of which would apply, and I think in most of our opinions, you know, the creation of uh, you know, income, sales tax income on materials, um, uh, permitting fees, and, uh, labor costs, things of that nature, all of those types of things would naturally occur on this project within our county if we didn't have, whether we could grant a pilot program or not. So, uh, and ultimately the, the pilot program, um, as outlined in the beginning of the executive summary, indicates it's a $12 million tax abatement. Um, you know, and the split of that money is roughly 62% to the school board, 38% uh, to the county. Uh, that would be uh, more or less um, forfeited in, in, you know, uh, in lieu of the pilot program if we were to grant it or not grant it. Uh, so um, I wanted to bring this up to see if we wanted to discuss it any further, if we wanted to take it, uh, if, because I promised the, the individual who spoke to me about this last week that I would bring it up as chairman of this board. Uh, they were a little confused as to why we haven't even considered discussing the ins and outs of, of it. Uh, rather than just say back in June that 
uh, hey, we created the law, that's it. You know, we're not going to move any, uh, any further forward. I'm giving them certainly the courtesy of bringing it up again here today uh, on that premise and um, want to ask all of us if uh, this is something that uh, we want to consider uh, to come back in the form of a resolution uh, and or um, have their representatives uh, come to us and make a presentation at another meeting to try and persuade or convince us to rescind this local law for the purpose of granting them a pilot program. So uh, I will I tried to frame this as best as I could under the circumstances. Um, so I'd like to open up the floor and see if there's any anybody wants to move forward in either direction. Do we want to pursue a resolution to grant this pilot? Do we want to give them an opportunity to come here and uh, explain their rationale behind how that would be better than actually taxing them the full Monty um, uh, without a pilot? So uh, that's where we're at. Looking around, not seeing much reaction, but I mean, um, I think I'll go around the room and we'll start in the miracle order. A legislator sweet, any interest in entertaining a resolution or <coughs> um, having a presentation? Um, no, I believe when we you know, pass the law and we can discuss this quite extensively. And uh, my opinion hasn't changed since then, so I would not be in favor. Thank you. Legislator Dining? I uh, would be interested in sponsoring the resolution and proceeding. Legislator Headwell? I agree. Legislator Wilson? No. Legislator DeJesse? No. Legislator Patel? No. All right. Your meeting to adjourn. Is there any other further discussion? A motion to adjourn. Sweet. Seconded by Diamond. All those in favor? All right. Adjourned at 6 My turn? Yes. I would call the Education Government Committee to order at 6 29. Voting members are. Roy Diamond, Dan Wilson, John Jesse, Jesse, and Joe Isabel. The first item on the agenda is discussion. I don't anyone have anything under this committee to discuss. If not, we'll move right on to the resolutions. First resolution is resolution amending resolution 173 of 2021. And the sponsor. That's it, Wilson second. <coughs> I'll second it. Discussion? No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Abstain? Move it to the full board. Next resolution is a resolution authorizing and approving a settlement agreement to an action related to the opioid crisis. Any sponsor? Senator Pep, second? I'll second. I'm sorry for tell discussion. So this comes right on the heels of our uh, settlement agreement last month and settling with another party for substantially more. Um, we did get news quite recently about the Purdue bankruptcy, and it's not looking like we're going to be getting any kind of number from them. But I will keep you guys updated as I get more information on that. That's the third. Yeah. <laughs> Any further discussion? Not all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? Move to the full board. Next resolution is a resolution approving the retirement days credited monthly for part time, full time elected officials and appointed officials. Any sponsor? <coughs> That's 
so there wasn't a second. It's a later time discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Move to the full board. Next resolution is a resolution amending rules of procedure in Montgomery County Legislature for the year 2021. Any sponsor? No sponsor. Mr. Patel, second. Legislator Wilson, discussion. So, Councilor, fill us in on what, at this point, the amendments or changes to the rules are going to be. Um, the amendments are all, to my recollection, in this version is the one that went to full board last month, which is all of the changes that were voted on in committee, yes or no. Um, so nothing has been changed since then. It's all the same things that were voted on in committee. Do we have a, do we have the changes? Because I don't exactly remember. Um, not, not a hard copy, they're attached. <clears throat> but they're not, but they're not red line. So you have the, the attachment is the rules of procedure, but it, it's not telling you what the actual changes are. One of the changes was you know changing um, the vote on the first page from it was discussed changing it from two thirds to just majority. We ended up keeping it as it was as majority, or as two thirds instead of majority. Mm -hmm. um, there was a provision about what to do when the clerk is absent. There was a provision about what to do when the, um, the chairman of the committee is absent. There was a robust discussion on what to do when something fails in committee, uh, which I believe is what kicked it back here, was because there was potential interest in further discussion on that point. Um, and then there was the clarifying the call to question procedural issue. Those were the so what uh, section was that? The, the second from the last one that we had the robust discussion about. That was on if something goes through committee, should it be able to fail in committee, or does it go to full board with a negative recommendation? Right. Do we have? I'm, I'm just looking at the document now. I was looking for some help finding the language. All the language was rejected, and so it remained as was. I don't have okay. the language that was proposed initially. Very good. Was rejected. Thank you. Any further discussion? Not. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? Move to the full board. The next resolution is a resolution in support of joining the Capital District Transit Authority. I need a sponsor? Council oh, Council. Awesome. Legislator Wilson, second the legislator tell discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? Move to the full board. Next resolution, the resolution authorizing the county executive to authorize advertising for bids for the FMCC wastewater treatment plant alarm system project. Any other sponsor? Legislator Pep, second. Legislator Wilson, discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Staying? Move to the full board. Anything under other? Motion to adjourn. Mr. Wilson. Mr. Dang. I'll call the budget and finance committee to order to uh, 635. Any discussion from the board? Hearing none, we have a resolution of um, approving the abstract of audit and claims.
But then if you look in the expenditures, expenditures are all, uh, almost close to $4 million up. They're up $3,773,000. Uh, uh, so uh, with the revenues up, the spending is also up. So um, and I always think that means we're, and we're doing well, but we're not, you know, we shouldn't go down the shopping spree. Uh, Watch the words during budget season. <laughs> um, I also did include with you the uh, uh, report on sales tax. I was told at the beginning of the meeting that we put a title on the top. Hi, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you can see, um, things have kind of slowed down a little bit in the last um, two months, September, uh, September and August. Um, we were up a little bit for this, for this quarter, but not uh, as much as the last one. Um, we're up. Sales tax is up five million um, dollars from the previous year. So uh, again, it's up a little bit. But we're also spending a little more too. So uh, we'll see how things uh, pan out at the end of the year. Certainly going to make budget at thirty-one five. Last year we finished with just about thirty-five million, and we're on pace for forty. So uh, all things being equal, the rest of the year. So uh, that's compared to last year. I am going to be asking uh, uh, Sean for uh, the last four or five years of what we what we use for fund balance or what we anticipated using that we actually use so we can start having those numbers going into the budget season so people can start to see uh, you know, when we put the budget together, even though we say we're going to put in you know four million, five million out of fund balance actually what we use. So it kind of gives you an idea of you know when we put the budget together that no, not to get too alarmed when we start to talk about this kind of thing. So I'll ask Sean to get that first with next. Uh, maybe or I'll have that probably before that as well. Uh, any other questions? <coughs> have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Um, okay, Wilson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?